NRAS in melanoma has been um, a, 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 a personal uh, topic of mine since I was a fellow at MD Anderson. Um, we investigated whether or not NRAS mutations in melanoma um, were, had any different effects for patients who received high dose interleukin-2. And what we found was that patients with NRAS mutations had a, uh, an increased response rate compared to patients with either BRAF mutations or who were wild type for both. And since then, that work has been followed up with, that, with the publication recently of Doug Johnson at Vanderbilt um, with, it was a retrospective study, multi-institute, looking at patients who received other types of immunotherapy in addition to uh, high dose O2, such as ipilimumab and PD-1. And again, they found that, the, that NRAS mutant patients were more likely to benefit um, from immunotherapies. Now, I, I, I'm very excited about these results, however, we still have to be cautious. They were both retrospective studies, not prospectively looking at patients uh, with NRAS mutations, randomizing them to chemo versus immunotherapy. So there's a lot that we could be missing, but I think that it is an interesting um, uh, principle that A, NRAS mutations are certainly uh, have different clinical characteristics in patients with melanoma than BRAF mutations. So we already know they're slight, they behave slightly differently, which is kind of the rationale why we wanted to look at do they res respond differently to immunotherapies. Now why do, if in fact this is true that NRAS mutant melanoma patients do respond better, um, we're still not sure why that occurs. Uh, some people uh, hypothesize that the mutant NRAS molecule is more uh, foreign looking to our immune system and therefore a better target for the immune system to attack. Um, other people th have suggested that, the, that NRAS mutant melanomas are um, produce less of an immune suppressive uh, phen uh, microenvironment. So I don't think we really know the answer. I don't think we really know for sure that NRAS is going to be a predictor for melanoma, but I, I do think this deserves some follow-up and hopefully w with the studies that are ongoing now that have large databases and clinical trials where we know their BRAF status, we can easily ob obtain their NRAS status and, and, and maybe help to um, strengthen these conclusions.